Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial part 3 of Advanced Inventory Reports Solution designed by Setu Consulting Services Private Limited. Here in this tutorial part 3 you will get to know that how Inventory FSN Analysis Report in this solution can help you in identifying the important products and dead stock products in your business. Well, this is the list of all the reports that can be generated through this solution along with the tutorial part that explains how each and every report is beneficial for your business. So here in this tutorial part 3, let us see that how inventory FSN analysis report is beneficial for your business and how to optimize inventory and inventory management. Well, for businesses with multiple warehouses and large product catalog, it is necessary to segregate the products based on the quantity the consumption rate and how often the item is issued so that you can identify the dead stock and also the fast moving products simultaneously well fsn analysis in this solution divides all products into three categories that is category f that says that the product if they belong to this category then they are the fast moving products in your business whose turnover ratio is greater than three if the products are belonging to S category, then they define that they are slow moving products in your business whose turnover ratio is between 1 and 3. And if they belong to category N, then they are non-moving items in your business whose turnover ratio is less than 1. So directly from here itself, you will get to know that if the product is belonging to category F, that means it is fast moving. That means again and again the sell order is placed by the customer, its movement in your warehouse is very fast, it's, that means its demand is high and hence you should place it to the nearer location in your warehouses and thus optimize warehouse space. Whereas you should get rid of all the products which belong to category N as early as possible. Thus, Turnover ratio defines that how fast the product is sold and replaced back by inventory. So if the turnover ratio is greater than 3, that means higher the turnover ratio, that means higher the product is sold, more number of sell orders is placed by the customers. So more is the movement of this product and hence it is categorized to category F. And thus, you could conclude that higher the turnover ratio of the product in your business, more is the importance of that product in your business. Thus, classifying the products based on FSN analysis will help you in taking smarter buying decisions, stock as per demand, also utilize optimum space of warehouses, reduce the stock obsolescence by identifying the dead stock or non-moving items in your warehouse and getting rid of those non-moving items as early as possible and much more. So let us now switch to Odoo and see how to derive this inventory FSN analysis report and what type of analysis to do through this report. So here I am on dashboard of Odoo and switching to this inventory module of Odoo to derive this FSN analysis report. If this solution that is advanced inventory reports is installed in my system then it appears here in reporting menu of inventory module. So now to derive this report switch to this reporting menu and in that to inventory FSN analysis functionality. A wizard opens where you need to fill all the details. Here I need to choose start date and end date the duration of which the sales data need to be considered while deriving this report and Categorizing products into F, S and N that is fast moving, slow moving and non moving products. So as an example, let me select the start date as the beginning of this year that is 1st of January 2022 to 30th of September 2022. If I want to derive report only for fast moving products, then I need to choose this option when I want to derive report only of the products which are slow moving in my business then i need to select this slow moving option over here in fsm classification else non moving for the products which are not in movement in my business 
as an example let me select this all option over here so this will derive report for all products and for each product i i can very easily categorize whether it is fast moving slow moving or non moving and also compare between the products so that i can come to know the importance of product for my business you need to select products categories companies and warehouses if none of them is selected then this report will be derived for all products of each category warehouse and company now to generate report in form of data i'll click on this view data button to derive report in form of graph click on this view graph button and to download this report in form of excel click on this excel report so i'm deriving this report in form of data at present so here appears the list of all the products its category the warehouse and the company to which it belongs then this was the opening stock during the duration that i had selected while generating this report the closing stock the average stock that is calculated from opening stock and closing stock this was the sales of this product during the duration that i had selected for the sales data and from this average stock and sales value the turnover ratio is calculated now what is turnover ratio how it how is it calculated and how is it beneficial for your business for that switch to this previous tutorials where it is explained that how this inventory turnover analysis is beneficial for your business now based on this turnover analysis or turnover ratio analysis this products are categorized to fast moving slow moving and non moving classifications well in this tutorial of inventory turnover analysis we concluded that better the turnover ratio of the product better is the performance of product for my business because turnover ratio says that the number of times this product is sold and replaced back in my business in form of inventory again that means higher the turnover ratio more number of times this product is sold and then more number of times it is replaced back in my inventory because the demand by the customers is again and again and because of that the products whose turnover ratio is high will be categorized to fast moving classification the products whose turnover ratio is less will be categorized to slow moving classification let me just rearrange this report in the descending order of turnover ratio so now you can see that this is the list of all the products whose turnover ratio is very high and thus they are categorized to fast moving uh, classification which says that these products are sold again and again and then replaced back in form of inventory in my warehouse again and again that means sold again and again to customers and purchased from vendor again and again so now when i know the products classification whether it is fast moving slow moving or non moving it becomes very easy for me to rearrange the products in my warehouses to the nearer location for fast moving the non moving inventories can be placed to farer lo farther locations so this can reduce the maintenance cost in my business also it can help me to decide over which products should be purchased more and more and on which products i should focus more see for non moving of products the products that are categorized to non moving or slow moving i should focus if the quantity of this products which are categorized to slow moving or non moving then and its quantity is more in my warehouse then i should plan to sell these products as early as possible so that i can get my cash back from the investment that is made and it is unnecessary putting my cash on hold for larger amount of time so this is how this inventory fsn analysis will help me to categorize and classify the products and know the importance of products whether it is being sold again and again and replaced back again in my warehouse or it is not sold since long time ago if i switch to this graph view 
then it becomes very easy for me again to compare between the warehouses and companies say for example for this company and warehouse the fast moving uh, products count is 38 and the slow moving products count is 50 in this warehouse 3 you can see that non moving product is 1 so likewise I need to from here I will very easily get to know that this products in warehouse 3 they are in non moving category and my investment of cash is unnecessary put on hold through this product so I should plan to get rid of this product more and more I can plan such that this slow moving products get converted to fast moving products I can also compare between the warehouses that okay there are 44 products in slow moving category for this warehouse 3 as compared to that in warehouse 2 the slow moving products are more so likewise I could also come to know the performance of each and every warehouses that through which warehouse which products are more beneficial in my business and in which warehouse which products are less beneficial in my business and which products to stock more in which warehouse and on which products I should stock less in which warehouse. So isn't it great that inventory FSN analysis again helps me in optimizing the inventory among the warehouses and in warehouses also the location of the inventories and by reducing the maintenance cost increasing sales helps me to achieve optimum profit for my business so thank you for listening till now and for any queries you can contact us through details mentioned in the description below